Top of the morning. We got Mo <laughs> stuff, whatever you want to call it, on Big U. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, you know, we've been talking about his rear program and dude's a rat. You know, he work with the police. You know, he got a police issue phone. You know, it's, it's 24 7 on call for LAPD. It's all in his contract, right? And this is a contract that he posted, I believe, from 2011. Now, we all know that stuff gets updated and, you know, add more to it. But little did I know, it get even more spicier. So I'm not really here to just, you know, take someone's content. But everybody go follow, subscribe. This guy who, uh, who posted it. Everybody go follow him. This is his content. And I'm gonna play a little. I'm gonna play a clip of it, and I'm gonna add uh, his link on here. And I'm gonna just play some of it, man, because uh, you know this is his content, and I'm react from it. But this dude deserves to get all the subscribers and all the views. This is his content, and it's pretty dope the way he articulate the whole thing and dissect it. So I'm gonna let him play some of it for y'all. Listen, it says the LAPD Grant Partnership. Contract the show, collaborate LAPD on an ongoing basis. Contract the show, attend monthly LAPD grid partnership meetings convened by the grid office in which all partners review current gang crime, violence data, hot spots, and incident follow up, and establish proactive deployment of both intervention and law enforcement resources. Now, y'all see the title of the video. Now, the model of this I'm, video right now, right? Let me pause it. It's so spicy, you really can't miss none of it. You gotta listen to the whole thing. I'm gonna just randomly skip to a few minutes and you can just hear how he dissect the whole thing. It's called. I'm and you reviewing the current grand crime. That's reporting on the crime. Incident follow-ups. Now the incident follow-ups, they talk about it don't have to be just within the streets or any um gang activities. They also talk about um incidents that happen with some of the youth that may be out there where they follow up on um after they give them, you know, uh, a treatment and help and support, you know, the, the incident follow-up, you know, they call them an incident. But yes, right there it says that you review you, you partners and you, re, and you review current gang crimes. Okay. So you also said that there's no phone. We're gonna go into the first one where it stated that yes, there's a ble uh, Blackberry. Yes, that's a Blackberry. Back in 2011, they had a Blackberry, right? In this new 2017 contract, yes, there's no mention of a Blackberry. But what day and age that we get that we need a Blackberry? On your phone that you got right now, you can have about three, four different phones on which what's apps, and you can have different phone numbers under your same phone. What is the a, a extra Blackberry needed for? There's also apps, not that just that we use that you know um, police departments use. You know what I'm saying? Uh, city councilmen use. It says you can use an app <laughs> to a uh, 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 conversate and 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 and, and up. Now, I'm just randomly skip some more, but I don't want to. You know, just use all his. I want y'all to go to the link and listen to the whole video. He read I'm going to just randomly skip some more. He got so many points and point out so many different things. Caught him out on all his lies. Cole. Referral. You refer them to the appropriate party, gang task force, who will provide their assistance. And I, and guess what? I'm going to read it all over the whole thing. Contract and his personnel, volunteers, and subcontractors are not agents of the city of Los Angeles Police Department, and their work does not involve any aspect of the criminal investigation. Their primary responsibility is to provide supportive services for victims, family members, and others who have been impacted by gang-related violence. Should the victim, the victim's family, or others desire to provide information relevant to a gang-related incident, the contract and the personnel... So listen, that's all I'm going to play. I'm going to put the link up. Like I say, all the things that I speak on is pretty obvious. You know what I'm saying? Dude's a rat. You know, you work for LAPD. We all know that the LAPD is just a middleman. You know what I'm saying? So people can feel comfortable snitching, giving information to the police without being seen, having a conversation with the police. I mean, we all know that this is what it's been there for. This is what it's for. You know what I'm saying? And... My next video, I'm going to speak on a whole bunch of stuff that's been going on behind this guy within the last six months. It's just crazy. It's mind-blowing. It's crazy. Anyway, y'all make sure y'all go watch this whole video. Do dissect his new updated contract, which is worse than the contract that we posted. And uh, y'all let me know what y'all think.